What is EOS in a nutshell? You might have heard of EOS, which some have been calling it an Ethereum killer. And that's a really, really big claim. So today I'm going to talk about what is EOS, the people behind EOS, and how it's going to go on a crowd sale, and finally where you can find a little bit more information about EOS as well. So let's start off by summarizing what is the key concept behind EOS. EOS will be a platform to support decentralized apps. That is its core, and it's designed to be a very easy way for developers to create decentralized apps. So first, you might ask, what is a decentralized app? Well, the Ethereum name service is a very good example of a decentralized app. It allows you to buy various Ethereum-based domain names by interacting with this kind of um, app using smart contracts. You can perhaps bid on a name, then you can send various amounts of Ether for a bid, and now you're interacting with a decentralized computer. There's no central authority here. And with this is a good example as well, because when you interact with it with a smart contract, you actually pay in gas. You have to pay for it. And it makes sense because, well, you're getting a product of a, a, a product out of it um, in the form of a domain, Ethereum domain. Well, that might be good for some apps such as the Ethereum name service, but let's take look, look another example of another type of decentralized app, which is Steemit. Steemit is actually at its very core, a decentralized blogging network. It's a decentralized social network. And you might say, well, Steemit's not on Ethereum. Why I use this as an example is because Steemit is absolutely possible to be built on EOS. So you can actually build a whole blogging network on EOS. And the whole idea of EOS is to make the creation of such blogging network possible and easy to create without worrying about lots of code. And that's the beauty behind it. And that's the beauty of this example as well, because the creator of EOS is also the co-creator of Steemit and of BitShares as well, it's Dan Larimer. The main person you want to follow is EOS.io. There's a blog for EOS as well, for information on the EOS platform. EOS differs from Ethereum in a sense that EOS is easy mode, whilst Ethereum is hard mode. Ethereum, to create apps, you must really write the app, then put it into machine code and to run on the Ethereum network. With EOS, they try to make that easier and have these kind of decentralized apps in readable machine, uh, readable code on the EOS network. And not only that, there's a lot of significant changes and upgrades to this process. For example, you no longer need start smart contracts to interact with EOS decentralized apps. So no long, users no longer have to pay money to interact with it. And that makes a lot of sense for something like Steam. If you want to submit a story, you don't want to start creating smart contracts and start spending money to do that. EOS also provides basic services such as database management, account management, and other services on the platform already. So you don't have to rewrite the code for it. On Ethereum, if you wanted to do that, you have to rewrite a lot of different sorts of code for all these features and have to do it yourself. Well, EOS provides these features as a base. It's kind of like Windows as an operating system. EOS is an operating system for the creation of smart apps. And that's why EOS is so powerful, because it has so many of these tools built inside already. Right now, EOS is still at its infancy. There's a white paper and there's development on GitHub. The white paper details things such as their proof of stake system, their low latency, the usage, and, and a lot of the key features of EOS. So now that's a really great place to start kind of reading and learning a bit more about EOS. The EOS white paper can be located on Steemit, and I'm going to put the link below. Obviously, a huge project like EOS needs funding, and it's going to seek funding through an initial coin offering. And an interesting thing about the ICO is that it's going to use Ethereum to host it. It's going to create ERC-20 tokens on the Ethereum network, and it's going to go through a very interesting initial coin offering. A lot of initial coin offerings we've seen last just hours with a maximum goal, and once it reaches a goal, it closes. With EOS, it's going to be different. 
It's going to last a whole year. This is the first type of ERC token sale that's going to go through this process. It's going to be very interesting to follow as well. So how it's going to work is that every day during this year, uh, after it starts rather, it's going to have a certain amount of tokens that's going to be up for grabs. And it's going to be distributed in proportion to how much the total amount is being paid. And that sounds crazy, right? So if you basically, if there's two competitors for it, and someone pays 8 Ethereum and someone pays 2 Ethereum, then 80% will go to the person who paid 8 Ethereum, and 20% will go to the person who paid 2 Ethereum. So it distributes like that, and it's going to last a whole year. The objective of this is to kind of stabilize the price, and also it's going to try to gain more recognition. It's going to keep on pumping and pumping and pumping out different um, news and different information about it over the whole year and allow different people to participate. So it's going to be a very, very interesting token sale and it's going to be quite interesting to follow in the future. And I'm definitely going to cover that once it's about to go live. And lastly, how do you find information about EOS? Well, Steemit is a great place. Steemit also always has a fond memory of its co-creator, Dan Larimer. So there's an EOS blog on Steemit that you can follow. And also you can follow it using the EOS tag on Steemit. And these are great places to find more information about EOS. If you guys want to know more information about EOS, do put a comment below about what questions and what features of EOS you are most interested in. And I'm going to do a video to cover that in the future. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have tons of other videos about various cryptocurrency coins, news, and more. So if you follow my channel and subscribe, you will not miss out on any of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.